Finally. Sometimes you forget that when you go traveling, you actually have to plan in rest. You have to plan in moments of stillness. Dear Gloria, a sacred space. I don't have to change who I am or how I live my life or who I love to be welcomed here. Hi, my name is Flossie. I'm a bi-hemispherical traveller. Living in British Columbia, Canada in my home-built van, my tiny home on wheels. I'm back in New Zealand right now, traveling the length of the country in a van, and I'm excited to share with you this magical subtropical country where I was born. Alrighty, we have come all the way back down here, spent another lovely amazing night in Nelson. From there we went through the most beautiful leaving the Abel Tasman National Park down through here into the Richmond Forest Park and watching the beautiful rivers along the way we meet the Buller River here and drive past Rotowiti and Rotoroa to Rotoroa Lake which is the general vicinity that we are in tonight which is amazing and there are some ski mountains up here but I can tell you for sure there is not much snow around it is deep summer. I'm very excited for the next few days because we'll be heading over here and to some hot springs. West coast springs. Very excited. Disconnect 
disconnect from internet and phone world a little bit and just focus on being there and present in the moment. Just stopped in a little town called Murchison and there's a little market over there. And they have dyed possum fur. Opossums are a pest, a small or large rodent in New Zealand that kills native birds. And so they harvest them. And the fur is incredibly soft. And this one's dyed yellow. So it's the perfect one for me. It's beautiful. It's been tanned and dyed. And it matches my life. We have just started the th th last third of the journey down. We're on the South Island of New Zealand now, heading towards Christchurch. I wanted to say a huge thank you, and I'm thinking about you all, and I'll be back online a little bit more in the following two weeks. So, getting there. The next video is gonna be done soon, so I might better give you an early access to it soon too, which would be really great. Um, Stop to pick these on the side of the highway. I thought they were St. John's wort, like we have in Canada. And they look sort of like it, but maybe it is a regional variety or not. I'm gonna try and find out. They're very pretty though. Me and yellow things apparently are a thing today, you know. I was out here earlier and something nipped my toe, so there's little tiny crabs in there. I got nipped twice by teeny tiny crabs. Not hard. I'm a salty human again. on the list of weirdest places I've dyed my hair. I need to do the regrowth, but it's a little hard to do without a proper bathroom. So we we'll just top up the color. Top up the color. Sit in. And then go wash my wash my hair. There's few better places to dye one's hair than this. Ta da! Hair is dyed, refreshed, and I feel good and bright and ready to go to 
Gloria. Let us show you what Gloria is. I'm just gonna leave it at that because it's pretty exciting. Cheers. Sometimes you forget that when you go traveling, you actually have to plan in rest. You have to plan in moments of stillness. This trip has been incredibly healing for me with the past year and the end of the past year being stressful and dramatic and full of conflict and overwhelm. So planning this trip was a beautiful healing escape um, a way to reconnect with family loved ones friends um, and then when we've been on this trip we've been like oh my gosh we crammed stuff in we crammed in seeing as many family as possible and I had all these destinations that I wanted to come to here in New Zealand and I'm so glad that I've gotten to see so many, so many of them. And I mean, this was a beautiful change of plans. We were supposed to go to the spring, the hot springs in, um, uh, is it Arthur's Pass or Lewis Pass? We were supposed to be there for two nights and we'd booked it. Um, camping there and we changed our minds and we came over to the west coast again on the south island we've been to the west coast and the north island we came to the west coast and the south island and it just it was a big drive today but it feels like this beautiful beautiful breath a slow day just to ourselves to go for a swim in the ocean i'm a salty human again Um, I was a little bit of a wuss and didn't get, I stayed about water up to here, you know, over the waves come by. Um, got myself salty again, which feels lovely. Sometimes if it's too late in the evening, getting into the ocean feels a little chilly. During the middle of the day, chilly, no problem. Evening? Mm. Taking in new information, new locations, new places, new experiences every single day is like, a lot um, but New Zealand has these wonderful um, freedom camping spaces and places where you're allowed to all park up um, and it's, it's this beautiful sense of community and nobody feels like they're doing something they're not supposed to and yeah we've parked at some beautiful places that have had bathroom facilities this place has got an outdoor shower Probably because it's a surf place, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm very happy. And look, a beautiful sunset. We're gonna have a beautiful sunset tonight too.
beach. Thank you for a lovely time. All the way from Canada, I'd heard about this beautiful pink church in Greymouth, New Zealand. My tender heart craved to visit such a place as this. And after messaging online to ask permission, we had a date set. And I was very excited. I grew up in a really conservative Christian family. And to become myself, my whole self, there's been a lot of tears and a lot of heartbreak. It really feels like places like this start to heal some of those wounds. I have always preferred to live alone. I don't wish to share anybody's bed. I can happily end a busy day without having spoken a single word. I like it. I like it like this. I also like to be flamboyantly queer. I have a daily desire to twirl in a pink satin robe. I require a wide floor and a high ceiling. I do not wish to go clubbing. I have a sense of myself. I am almost 40. I can do things. I have a wide removed floor and a 15 foot stud. I have the sound of the surf filling the air as fully as anything else omniscient. I have the damp cliffs illuminated nightly by electric blue revelations. I have a place to twirl. I am happy and alone. I set out painting this building pink inside and out. I named her. I commissioned a pink neon sign and a flouncy hand to hang above the altar. Gloria. I draped the windows in pink organza tulle. I strung beads from this and that. I placed plastic flowers here and there. I put on my robe and a little mascara and twirled. And it felt very good and whole. We sat on her paint splattered floor. We ate sandwiches. We caught each other's eyes and crinkled a bit and looked away. We wore our highest heels and our glitteriest jackets and our eyes clashed well with our lips. We sang and laughed and twirled and went to bed at a reasonable hour. And we did the same thing the next night and the night after that. We continued to be vividly outraged and we continued to be queerly defiant and we put on our silk robes and our big hats and our gum boots and we watched the sun go down on a glorious coast that was lit up as pink as a lullaby and really hot we twirled space. I don't have to change who I am, or how I live my life, or who I love to be welcomed here. Healing the tender parts of myself, my child self, which simply desired to be loved and accepted. This sacred place holds space for the divine in all of us without guilt or fear. Worship can come in the form of a homecoming tear, a glittery shoe, a feather, or polka dots. Gloria, thank you for existing 
and welcoming my wandering heart into your sacred sanctuary. May you long remain a fabulous pink haven for seekers queer. This place is beautiful. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad to share it with you all.